Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? God is um, back in the building, so let me uh, get this one cracking. Today I'm going to talk about the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. And the International Monetary Fund is like the bigger version of the Fed which means that no one's control of the money to begin with. But uh, the IMF rolled scale, or rolled scale back growth. You know, uh, how can I say this? The global growth, that's how it is. The IMF scale back the global growth, which is going to hurt the United States because we can't, we're, right now, if you look at our policies, we're aggressively tackling this economy. Whether you like whether you like Obama or not, that's that's not the topic right now. I'm just telling what I'm just telling you what it is right now. We're we're aggressively scaling back. Uh, I mean, we're, we're we're aggressively accelerating our our um, our policies towards building the economy back to where it was, right? Wrong or different. And the slowdown in the stagnant economies over in Europe, like Greece, example. And Malta and all that, and, uh, and Asia. And Asia is and Asia is not is not, is not as bad as the Euros, but in Asia they're just the growth is kind of stopping, and it's their inflation inflation too. Plus, China's trying to go with the trend where they're trying to replace the dollar with I forget what the name of that. It's not the yen; it's something else. People go look it up. I saw it. Oh, I might do a video on that, but. They're trying to replace the dollar, so they got a new currency, and, uh, and but they're still having problems with their growth. They're, well, China had a growth forecast that didn't hit to where they thought it was going to be, so they lose the money too. Uh, but you figure, it's it's. Uh, I mean, the, you've got the government with a stimulus had a, had a continual stimulus stimuli programs. And uh, they're pumping money back in the, in the economy, and which, which which in turn is making us spend. We're not making us, but we're doing it anyway. Um, just to maintain the, some balance in the global economy. So so now you got the IMF like scaling back global, the global forecast of how good we were going, the world was going to do. So now, if you look at it, they're scaling back. Because if, 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 if we scale up, and if we keep going where we're at, so we have bad counterbalance, then we have to go at a similar rate because then that's when, that's when you get, that's when you get like, like a domestic goods and international goods price differences, and that's like, like foreign stuff, you know, it's, it's tariffs and all that. I mean, it's just, it then it becomes trickles down to the bank systems and, it, it, it back to where we were, like uh, when the Great Recession, when the Great Recession hit. Uh, the euros just like you said, the euros just got out of the Great Recession last year. So, but there is a like a, there's a massive, like I say, like in Greece, there's massive government debt. I forget the one party who just took over. They took over with reforms out the yin yang, but. Uh, but now it's uh, there's non-existent consumer spending because consumers are scared over there. I, like like so the, imagine going to your bank and your bank was like, nah, you can't take no money out. That's how it was in Greece. Couldn't take any money out. Or there's certain places where you can take so much of your money out, but you gotta borrow or you gotta borrow to take out your money because the banks are that messed up over in certain countries. Uh, you got a, a, a like said, the, the lending climate. They were giving out money just like we were over here, and they couldn't pay for it. So we're paying for it. Um, I go on and on about how bad the economies were, but you're getting the gist of it. They're getting uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh, wow, well, like in Asia, like I said, how the housing market in Asia, uh, they, they had a slowdown. They were in, in China alone. They were building, they were the middle class, boom, like it's been like that. But now you're getting, a, they're getting their EPA on where they're, uh, they're, 
we got their, the, what do I want to say, their, um, we have it here. The air, they're, they're cleaning up their, the, the environment, the housing boom, um, uh, you know, it's just hurtful, like, let's say over there, they have hurtful consumer spending too, so they have low interest because of bad purchases. So, and fortunately, my friends in the USA, that's gonna be that's gonna be bad for us because since all this is going down, that means we have to slow down. Which, if you look at the Fed chief Yellen, I think he said something similar to that. We are slowing down because Yellen was being real aggressive. Remember, remember when I was doing videos how we were going to this, hit this benchmark, then months later we hit the benchmark. Then she said she gonna do X Y Z. And every time Bernanke heard of the old chief. Whenever he said something, that's when everything went up in smoke and uh, we were doing good. But now we got to scale that back for the sake of other countries because this is how we got in debt to begin with. So while you're buying, there's some poor Chinese kid eating ramen noodles, you know, with lead in them. So you are keep, people should need to keep an eye on the, the IMF, which is basically the Fed. You know, it's just the, it's the international Fed. So, when I mean the Fed, I mean even like the Federal Reserve. So, you need to check it out. Cause like I said, if, if if all these if all this spending and all these other countries are going down, we either got to keep at the pace so they're going, or we just got to keep stagnant. So we can't go overboard. But sooner or later, something's got to give. So, kids, keep just, just be mindful of that. Just watch out. All right, peace.